Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord for the awesome sessions. I want you to know that remarkable things are happening in the spirit. Hallelujah. Remarkable things happening in the spirit. Why do we need the spirit of revelations? Romans 11, verse 33. We are going to pray. We are still praying. Romans 11. Why do we need the manifestation of the spirit of revelation? Romans chapter 11. He says, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. He says, How what? Unsearchable. Are his judgments and his ways past or beyond finding out. God surrounds himself with mysteries like chariots. And he takes the agency of the spirit of revelation to help us understand this mystery deity and tap from his wisdom to reign. He says, oh, the depth, the dimension of the mysteries that are contained in God. He says, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. But the Bible says, no man knows what is in the spirit of a man except the spirit of that man. He says, so also, no man knows the mind of God, what is in his spirit except the spirit of God. He says, the spirit has the ability to search as deep as it is. He has capacity to search. And he can search and reveal it to the saints. Listen, let me tell you something. Divine strategies, divine secrets, we call them mysteries. That's the key that has turned ordinary men to wonders. Something about the operation of the kingdom. As big as any door it is, it requires a key for it to open. A door can be locked as big as it is if the key is missing. You can roam around that place forever. Hallelujah. It takes the key. And we are going to be praying very briefly. Men and women of God have been here leading us very powerfully. But I want your eyes to be open to something and I pray that God will grant you grace to see. You see, what you hear is information. You don't see information. When your eye sees it, it's no longer information. Because the eye is the light of the body, not ear. He said, I will stand upon my watch. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. He says, and I will set myself upon the tower. And I will see what the Lord will say. That's revelation. When you can see what God is saying. It has entered your spirit. You can hear what he's saying and not change. But when you see it, you must change. Hmm. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. I've been praying seriously that we will comprehend the gravity and the necessity for the manifestation of the spirit of revelation in our lives. I said it yesterday. Revelation is, you see, one of the things I've seen in the body of Christ, and I'm and, and part of it, but I've seen the folly of men. The Bible says, ever learning, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. We think revelation is accumulation of many things somebody else does not know. So our, our pursuit is to accumulate as many strange opinions that are known only by a few people. And we call it revelation. No, sir. Revelation. Listen to me. Revelation is not just an information that only a few people know. No. That's not revelation. Revelation is not even knowing what God has said. I said it yesterday. If you know what God has said, brothers and sisters, and you cannot make it work in your life, it is useless. We keep mocking ourselves with information that has no power for manifestation. There are many pastors who can tell you they know everything about church growth. They know everything about healing. Everything about miracles. The end of revelation 
It's not that you know it, that your life becomes a testament of its reality. Hallelujah. So it's not enough to just know, oh, I know this, I know this. Is it working in your life? Is it working? Is it producing results in your life? I'd like you to be frustrated in a positive way tonight. Let, let an anger rise from you and say, Lord, something I know is mocking your grace in my life. I claim to know this. It's not working. It's not working. I claim I have so way. But at every weather blows a little, I'm a victim of everything. No, 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 no. Is it a lie? There is a reality of the life of God. You see, one of the greatest frustrations in the body of Christ is that we are cramming scriptures, which is okay. But we do not stay with the spirit to open us up to the mystery. So we have many scriptures. We quote it and recite it and gather accolades to ourselves we cannot defend. So lots of people say this guy can quote scripture. But there's nothing in our lives that show the reality. Let me tell you, one result will answer a thousand questions. I know this. I believe in results. I have no business participating in anything that does not have the capacity. He says, so therefore, let your light so shine, not your explanation. Let your light so shine before men. I want them to see it. For herein is your Father glorified, where you bear much fruit. Hallelujah. Two things I'm going to share with us very quickly. You want the spirit of revelation to come upon your heart. You can sit down, please. We are going to rise up to pray. I just want to. I was searching the scripture. And just asking the Lord what he would put in my heart as I admonish us. Please pay attention. You will never encounter the spirit of revelation. Listen. Listen. When there is no willingness. You see. Most people mock God. We think God is, is just a stupid person who doesn't have anything to do in heaven. Is there a willingness in your heart to walk in the truth thereof? Hallelujah. John 7, verse 17. Media, you help us. We'll look at a few scriptures. I found this scripture very interesting. John 7, verse 17. Everyone read if you can. It's projected. One to read. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He said, if any man will, once your will is there, the revelation will be given to you. There is no commitment in many believers to grow. There is no commitment to do great things for the kingdom. Therefore, there is no need for the manifestation of the spirit of revelation. Because the spirit of revelation shows you certain things to the end that you will do something with it. Hallelujah. The willingness to obey attracts the spirit of revelation. The willingness to obey. Not the willingness to know. The willingness to obey. The Lord as you show me and that grace for performance comes, I kick into action immediately. God will always give us revelations and cry that we do something with it. It's not enough to know a truth and keep it there and it does not bless you. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. The Bible tells us a very interesting... Um, when you read from verse 14 to 30, the parable, popular story, the parable of the talents, Right? The Bible says he gave unto one, you know, all kinds of talents. And the Bible says he gave one five, listen, he gave one two, he gave one one. The Bible says they went immediately and traded it. Are we together? What did they do? Immediately, when they got it, they swung into action. And they brought forth results. The one with five brought five more. The one with two brought two more. But one held the revelation. And he was just moving around with it. And after a while, the master came and said, Okay, I've come for accountability because I want to improve you. I want to promote you. The one with five who made it ten, he said, Well done. 
The one with two who made it four. Well done. Listen to what the last person said. I know you are a hard man. You like reaping where you didn't sow. So I thought I would just bury it. You bury seeds, not talents. When you bury seeds, they will grow. When you bury talents, they become useless and unprofitable. And he was angry. And hear what the Bible says. He collected the talent from the one and took it and gave someone. This is the mystery in the kingdom. The more you appreciate revelations and receive them, the more you qualify yourself for more. You, you peg the limit of the access of the spirit of revelation in your life with disobedience and refusal to act. Your journey into the mysteries of the kingdom is at the mercy of what you know so far. God watches it. Because he said, gather the crumbs, let there be no waste. Gather the crumbs. I showed you something about a key that can supernaturally bring sinners. You ignored it. You played around with it. But you are looking for the mysteries that bring church growth. And God says, no, your heart is not right. I gave you a dimension of revelation. It was mismanaged. Several people want Rema. And I'll tell you why. I've taught here again and again. The reason is because in the body of Christ, we have this childish attitude of gathering crowns for ourselves based on our ability to compare scripture with scripture. So, the pursuit of many people into the mysteries of God is to have something to defend their ministry. They are not interested whether or not results come. So, when Benga comes up and preaches and bombards everybody with mysteries and then Pastor Alpha and Pastor Femi, they are now nodding and saying, man, this guy is deep. Revelation is more than that. You cannot want revelation to use it to cover your inferiority. It's more than that. It's God speaking to us now. That's why a lot of people want it so that when you go to a church and they say, okay, just can you just um, share, give us something, maybe a little charge, greet the people and collect offering. So instead of going to a, the popular scripture, you now say, go to the book of Revelations and they say, just for offering. And you are happy. And you derive a sense of honor and God is watching. He's saying, I gave you something that can change a destiny. And you bring it and tie it down just to, to massage your ego before men. He said, they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise. Revelation is more than. So that we don't make God look like a charmer or a magician, like a jelly that will twist his hand and use. Is your heart committed to obey? When God gives me a revelation, I hold on to it. The word of the Lord came to me some years ago. He said, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. So your willingness to obey. Well, let me show you two very quick mysteries. I pray that the Lord will open your eyes. Keys that can attract the manifestation of the spirit of revelation. Just two of them. Number one, Songs of Solomon chapter 5 verse 2. If you want to be a man of deep mysteries, listen, surrender your night time to God. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? What I'm teaching you is very deep. Dedicate your night time. I don't mean don't sleep. Just say, Lord, once it is night and the sun goes down, I dedicate this time for encounters. He says, I sleep, but my heart wakes. My body may lie down and sleep, but my spirit is waiting. Like a watchman, I expect you to come. I expect you to show up in my room. I expect to wake up in the morning writing. Ask everyone who knows me. I sleep with my Bible, notebook, biro, my phone. I expect mysteries to wake me up. Dedicate your night time. Listen. Great men of the spirit understand the mystery of the night. The Bible says, and then the secret was shown unto Daniel in the vision of the night. Not the vision of the afternoon. The night time is the time when men see the night time 
is the time when men see one more scripture. Job 33. Job 33. We'll look at 15 and 16. The Bible talks about Job, the greatest man from the east. Right? Let's look at something Job said. One to read. 15 and 16 is projected. One to read. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon my bed, what happens? Then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instructions. Listen, there are encounters when you go to sleep in the night. Strange things happen on earth. The same way alien spirits and demons come and sow seeds. Many things happen in the night. Listen, many great people have been cheated, not discerning the mystery of the night. Did you know in the spirit, you measure a whole day beginning from the night, not morning, and the evening came, and the morning was the first day. And the evening came, and the morning was the second day. People die in the night. Somebody who had enough faith to stand in the afternoon, by night, something happens. It's not just the absence of light. There is a mystery of the night time. Everyone who prays seriously will tell you there is grace to pray in the night. Are we together now? Dedicate your night to God. I've done this in my life. I'm telling you there is almost no night that I don't have an encounter. Some sort, if it's not a direct encounter with God, some kind of scripture. I can play, I have the whole Bible on my phone. I can find a chapter, put it on repeat, and put it on my ears. The, the thing looking for rest is not my spirit, it's my body. And the scripture playing will not interrupt the body from sleeping. So body, you can sleep while the spirit continues. How many of you have had times when... You are sleeping and what you were listening to continues in your sleep. And you begin to live it like a vision. The same way it was at the same time. Your ears, you are on the bed sleeping. But in that vision. And Jesus was at Gennesaret. And you are there. Those encounters. You wake up with surges of power running down from your head to toe. You think you just had a nice nap. But when you continue... One day you will begin to see possibilities activated in your life because strange encounters. Sacrifice your nighttime, people of God, to God. By sacrifice your nighttime, I don't just mean wake up in the night and pray, although that's wonderful. But I'm saying dedicate your nighttime. That whether awake or asleep, it's like a, a covenant with God. You are saying, Lord, my nighttime belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Oh, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Every time I go to sleep, I know that revelation is coming. Sometimes, even before I sleep, the presence of God is already filling the place. And I just sleep under that atmosphere. Strange encounters. Oh king, don't be hasty in what you want to do. Give us time. You just had a dream, no interpretation. You want to kill everybody. No. Allow us. And Daniel went. There was a God that reveals secret. But things don't just happen. You see, when we don't understand the way spiritual things are regulated, we mock ourselves. God is almighty. But his presence is not manifested anytime, anywhere, the way you want. There is a protocol, even to the coming of his presence. The Bible says, then the vision was revealed. In the night time, when all the noise of unbelief, all the people that jam the spiritual atmosphere with unbelief have gone to bed. Revelations. Sometimes you will wake you and you just stand and sit down like a zombie. You can't pray, you can't read your Bible, but you are just silent. You don't even know what is happening to you. After one hour, you sleep back. You thought you were just watching, but there was a transfer, like from a filling station to you. It will take days before you understand what just happened to you that night. You just know that you woke up and you could not sleep. You were watching, you seemed restless. 
Because the language of God, I've taught here and I've taught in the school of ministry. The language of God is not English, it's not French, it's not Greek, it's not Hebrew. The language of God is light. And when that light comes to you, sometimes it will take a while. That's what happens to some of you when you fall under the anointing. It's not every falling under the anointing that is impartation as it were. Or maybe demons going out. There are times what throws you down is the word of God to your spirit. He said the voice of God upon the waters is mighty. But it will take a while. Like a snake that swallows an animal. And then you begin to see it unfold. We are going to pray. One more mystery. Psalm 49 verse 4. is Something I have known for a few years. And has blessed my life. This is the reason why. You find out that every time we pray. We create an atmosphere of worship. Psalms 49 verse 4. Everyone read, please. I will incline my ear to a parable. It says, I will open my dark sayings upon the harp. That means anywhere I begin to hear sounds of music and worship, it will attract the spirit of revelation. The prophet knew this, right? He said, bring me a mystery. I need to see. I, I need to know what is happening. But bring me a mystery. The Bible says the moment he was playing, the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, fill these ditches with water. I say, you may not see wind. You may not see rain. But the valley shall be filled with water. Listen. Surround your time with God. Soak it with worship. Sometimes you need to just allow worship. Just play. In 2005, I did a strong research. Jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence. Searching for what it was in these Jewish songs and the presence of God. I found a lot of things I cannot share for time's sake. But we are going to pray. A prayer of dedication of our night time to God. And say, Lord, beginning from tonight, I surrender my night time forever to you. That you will open me up to tremendous mysteries. Divine secrets. And you are going to pray and say, Lord, ride on the wings of my worship. Can we rise up very quickly and pray? Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I dedicate my night time up to you. Visit me. Whether asleep or awake, give me revelations. Show me divine secrets. Show me divine strategies. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me, O God. Visit me, O God. Visit me, O God. Please make sure you are praying in the night time when men go to bed. I keep my spirit alive to receive from you strategies for business, strategies for ministry, strategies for marriage. Oh, receive it from the realm of the spirit. Divine solutions, strategies to issues of concern. Are you praying? Lord, reveal that which I need to do in the night vision as I sleep let me see as I sleep let me see I come for the spirit of revelation through the mystery of the night through the mystery of the night through the mystery of the night Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like us to pray and say, Lord, every mystery you have shown me so far that I have ignored, remind me and grant me grace to obey. Lift your voice and pray. Every mystery that has been shared upon this altar, every truth you have shown me, and out of carelessness, 
I ignored it out of carelessness. I refused to act upon it. You showed me what will make my children better. I ignored it. You showed me what will bring prosperity to my life. I ignored it. You showed me what will keep me long and healthy. I ignored it. Remind me by your spirit and grant me grace to walk in it. Pray. Grace for obedience. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, it's not what you do that makes you prosper. It's how you do it. There is a way God can show you. Do A and B and C. And it will take you from one dimension to another. Please hear me. It's not doing things that brings results. It is the revelation behind what is being done. Everybody opens a shop. You can open it the way you want. But God can tell you, no. This is a secret I give you. It may not work for anybody, but I give you. He said, where fell the axe head? And they showed him. And for that condition, the secret was to carry a stick. It was never done anywhere again. And he threw it. And the axe head floated. You are going to pray. And say, Lord, what is the strategy to come out of my predicament? Show me this night. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray, pray. Lord, there is a strategy. There is a strategy to pay that rent. There is a strategy to take that business to the next level. There is a strategy for my church to expand. There is a strategy for my finances to change. There is a strategy for my prayer life to jump back to life. There is a strategy. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes by the spirit of revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Everything you have is enough if you know what to do with it. Did you hear what I said? Everything you have is enough. If you know what to do with it. The Bible says there was five loaves and two fish. Jesus knew what to do with it. To feed 5,000 people. Sometimes what you need is not more. What you need is strategy. Strategy. Business people hear me. You need strategy. You do things foolishly. Jack of all trade. Master of none. You will crash your life. You need strategy. Pastors you need strategy. All this copy and paste thing people do because others are doing it, you do it to know. He says, Thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk in it. We are going to pray one more time and say, Lord, show me something applicable to my own life and destiny. What is the strategy for my marriage? What is the strategy for my finances? What is the strategy? Please lift your voice and pray. What is the strategy for my ministry? What is the strategy for my business? Ava roto shoto prega ni bala bala, shabra kata rapo shoto prado bala bala bala, laka prado shoto prada bala bala bala. Reveal it to me, O God. Reveal it to me. Divine strategies, keys of the kingdom, keys of the kingdom. Divine strategies, keys of the kingdom. Hallelujah. 
Alléluia. 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 When you know what to do, it will end stagnation in your life forever. But if you do not know what to do, you can remain in a position for a long time. You can pray, but you need strategies. It was David Yonggi Cho who was crying that God would show him the keys of church growth. And God opened his eyes to the concept of self-fellowship. Many men of God carried it hook, line, and sinker without revelation and split their churches into pieces because it came by light. The Bible says, write prosperously because of truth. Not because of desire, because of truth. Hallelujah. It was Bishop Wedeko who was sharing that the Lord gave him a revelation about corporate tithing. Right? From Hebrews 7 verse 7. That and without contradiction, the lesser is blessed of the greater. There are strategies. A man can be grounded for many years, but one key will open you up. I've shared with you my, my, my story. From the scripture, God told me, said, um, how did he put it now? Um, to be good to everyone. He said, for in it, many of you have entertained angels unaware. I saw that scripture and it entered my spirit as light. And one time there were women. I was buying sugar cane. And there were two women, strange women, who were also buying sugar cane. And it was in my spirit, based on the light of that scripture. Just bless them. And I said, Mama, you people, don't worry. You don't have to pay. I'll pay for you. And they were looking at me, trying to lose their, this thing that they put money. In. And I think it was 59 or so I gave them. And these women started blessing me. They were blessed. You know how these people bless Honestly, whether they were human beings or angels, I do not know. They were blessing me. But of all that they said, I, I didn't remember. But I know one of the women spoke to me and said, My son forever walk upon gold. That was what she said to me. Forever walk upon gold. What you see is a mystery. I've, I read many books on church growth. And I appreciated the revelation, but truly did not connect to my spirit. And I said, Lord, show me. Give me the revelation for this ministry. Mark chapter 1, 2, 3. My goodness. When God opened my eyes, he said, Jesus was in the wilderness. Men came. He went on the mountain top. Men came. There was a mystery. He said, it was noise abroad that Jesus was in town. Who did the publicity remain a mystery? And it entered my spirit. It was noised abroad. They met Jesus and they said, All men seek for thee. It may not work for someone else, but that's a revelation. That's what I told you. It's not what you do, it's the light that backs what you do. Someone may refuse now and say, Koinonia doesn't do any publicity, and people come, and you may not publicize your program, and you will see empty pews all around. Because I'm not against publicity. Every man works on the authority of the light that came for him. He said, and God made two great lights. One to rule the day and the other to rule the night. And the Lord taught me that there is a kind of revelation that you need in times of pain, hardship, and obscurity. It's called the night time. There is a, the light that rules in the day may not be the same pattern in the night. And so you must sustain ability to survive, whether in the daytime when things are working well or in the nighttime. That's why when, whether people cry in session, whether they cry whatever, there is a light that rules in the night. When you read a Bible story and it ends as a story, you just had information. But when something rises from scripture and it is opened up to you, Utopian Enoch said, the Philip asked him, he said, understand what thou readest. Do you understand? He was reading but he did not understand. The Bible says he breathed upon them. He opened their understanding. The last prayer. Father, open my understanding. Open my understanding. I'm tired of reading the Bible like a storybook. Open my understanding. Please lift your voice and pray. Open my understanding.
open my understanding. Open my understanding in the name of Jesus. He said, in all thy getting, get understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before I speak over your life, please bring out your prayer requests. Oh, 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 oh
in the name of Jesus, may it become yours. He said, that which we have heard, we first heard it, then we saw it, then our hands handled it. You have heard it, you have seen it, I command your hands to handle it. In the name of Jesus, I command your hands to handle it. The Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among men and we beheld his glory. The answer that has been hanging in the realm of the spirit, it must become flesh and appear before men. It must become flesh and appear before men. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every challenge you are lifting, you have cried about it. Your family members have cried about it. It has brought tears to your eyes. The Bible says we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity and praying in the name of Jesus. Every spirit behind the tragedy that is lifted, I'm not speaking to the request first, the spirit behind the, tra the tragedy this night, we release the fire of judgment. <laughs> Hear me. If there is any human agent behind the tears on that list this night, in the name that is above the all names, we command judgment. <laughs> we command judgment. <laughs> he said, Pharaoh will not let you go. Except by a strong hand. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has refused to let you go. To turn that challenge to a testimony. And pray in this night. He said if you do not release me. I will take your own firstborn. Whoever has taken what is yours. I will not release it. We seize their peace tonight. We seize their peace tonight. In the name of Jesus. And at night the king could not sleep for the sake of Daniel. Early in the morning he went, he said, Daniel, has the God whom you serve kept you? He said, oh, leave king. He said, he has sent angels. I pray. Angels can be sent to rescue, but they can send to punish. Angels use hailstone and stone people with it until they release the destiny of God's people. I pray. Whatever must happen for your testimony to manifest, we permit it to happen this night. In the name of Jesus, whatever must happen for your testimony to manifest, we release it to happen. Hallelujah. He said, I will overturn, overturn, overturn. I will keep overturning until it gets to your place. I don't care how many times God must move in that family. Even if he has done it before, my God, do it again till it gets to your throne. May God do it again till it gets to your turn. Every negative report, we change it tonight. Every verdict, listen, any man threatening you, hear me. Every man was a baby in the hands of a woman one day. Ask Pharaoh, God knows how to humble men. Every dagon standing to mock your God as represented in the challenges you have written. The same way that God fell before the ark. May that challenge fall tonight. May that challenge fall tonight. Hallelujah. While I was preparing for this meeting, I got a very humorous text from, I think it was the assistant MD. He couldn't make it today. I'm sure tomorrow he will share it. He said he had been praying and praying. They have been trusting the dad for a car. And humanly speaking, it may not be easy to get that kind of financially. I think his parents are missionaries. And he said, just yesterday, somebody walked up to the father and gave him a brand new jeep. Brand new. It's not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Lord that showeth mercy. That you don't know the road does not mean it's not here. I'm praying for you again in the name of Jesus. Whatever your eyes must see to solve these problems, may it be revealed to you this night. Yeah. 
There are some of you, the solution to your problems is in the account of somebody. The solution to your cry is in the endorsement of somebody. The solution to that jobless situation, it is within the power. You say, I am also a man under authority. I have a jurisdiction and I have influence. I'm praying. Whoever needs to show up to help you. He said a man was crippled and could not help himself. But he said some men carried him, tore the sink and brought him down. Whoever needs to carry you from where you are. Whoever needs to come in for your family. Whoever needs to show up in your destiny. Wherever they are this night, in the name of Jesus, they will see you in their dreams. They will see themselves helping you. Please believe what I'm saying. They will see themselves blessing you financially. The Lord will instruct them in the night. And they will be compelled to obey. Listen, you have been begging some of them, they are not responding. Now we ask God by revelation, since you have begged, begged, begged and they will listen, I pray for you. Through their dreams, may they see themselves helping you. As a confirmation that they are your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please sit down very quickly. Let's write the prophetic focus for tomorrow. Hallelujah. John 12, please, 24. Let's establish the prophetic focus for tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow. I'll be teaching you something very powerful. You'll keep progressing every day. God is showing us mysteries. I'd like us to read. Everybody want to read. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Tomorrow we are going to be examining the mystery of sacrifice. Our prayer. I'm going to be showing you how it must take sacrifice in the spirit for a man to go up. I'm not talking money. You must give up something to go up. It's a law. You cannot hold on to what you have and still rise. So our prayer tomorrow is going to be Lord grace for sacrifice. We hate this language in the body of Christ because many of us think when we talk sacrifice, you are trying to add to what Jesus has done. There is nothing that is of worth. Nothing that is of worth. Listen, the birth of anything valuable is painful. Anything valuable. Many people have not understood this law of sacrifice. It has grounded lives, grounded ministries, grounded businesses, Grounded all kinds of things. He said, except. Except it falls and dies. When you bury a seed or plant a seed, the first thing that happens to that seed is that it dies. When it dies, it doesn't fear anything again. Because the last enemy to be defeated is death. I will show you the mystery behind the boldness of many people. is because they have died. There is a way God kills your fear by exposing you to it. And what made you cry yesterday, you will walk through it. You no longer will have fear. Sometimes God does not take it away. He brings it face to face with you. And you will find out that every challenge comes in his magnified form. When you stand and face it, it's smaller than it looks. Rise up on your feet. Tomorrow the Lord will help us on that. In the name of Jesus Christ. We, are, we apologize for the communion. We may just take it on Friday. Please, before we leave, I, I just like us to appreciate a dear um, woman. She's been here. She would not want me to do that, but I promised her I was going to do it today. I'd like us to appreciate Madam Ladi. Um, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Prof, my God bless you. Thank you so much. Um, every time she comes, she hides. And sometimes she can rush to Kaduna for lecture. Those who are in mass come, you know her, she's your lecturer. Um, she can run for lectures and still run back to make sure that she meets the meeting. And she will hide somewhere and say she doesn't want to be known. She's been teaching me Hebrew. And um, she taught me some things I'm going to share with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So thank you so much, Mark. We appreciate you. The Lord honor you. Let's honor her. And again, every other person... Hallelujah.
there are a lot of elderly people, some lecturers, they can just come hide outside. Wherever you are, we honor you and we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands as I speak over your life. Yes, Lord, we believe you. You have waited three days laboring in the spirit and fasting. The Bible says, meditate upon these things. It said, give yourself wholly to them that your profiting will appear unto all men. I'm praying between tonight and tomorrow, may your result begin to bear fruit. Let it, let it be evident. May your life begin to bear fruit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The reward of your fasting, your praying, your stretching in the spirit, we pull it from the realm of the spirit and command it to appear in the physical. Amen. The same way you rejoice over the testimony of some of the testimony of somebody, tomorrow may you be the one to stand here. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A mark of honor, a mark of favor, a mark of wisdom. A mark upon your life that makes you an epistle of this fasting and prayer session. May it come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that as you move in your room and around, anything that is not of God, just by stepping in, may your atmosphere judge anything that is not of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who are already weary, we supply fresh grace. Fresh grace for fasting. Fresh grace for prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight we are here to attack barrenness. And um, we are here to challenge it. Call it the name it is. And tell it where to go to. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight we are here to attack on fruitfulness. We are here to challenge lack of results. It's important to know why we are here tonight. Are we together now? And that means everything that has refused to leave you must go this night. Nothing goes by itself. A force greater than it will have to dislodge it. And that power is available tonight. In the name of Jesus. Genesis 21 verse 1. Genesis 21 verse 1. Genesis 21 verse 1. Verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Put your name there. Are you ready to read? One to read. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has declared that this is a miracle service for the month of October. And he will do as he has spoken. In the name of Jesus. Just to guide us through a few things to challenge our faith and then we'll get to the business of the night um i found some very interesting things while i prepared for this service and i just want to challenge our hearts in the name of jesus praise the lord genesis 1 28 the bible tells us how that god made man and god gave him specific instructions genesis 1 28 was not an advice it was not a suggestion it was a command are we together and when god gives a command we are supposed to obey it says and god blessed them and said unto them the first word be fruitful he said unto them he didn't say there's an opportunity to be fruitful and I hope that you consider it. It was a command. Be fruitful. Then he says, multiply. Multiply. 
reproduce yourself and your kind and then he says replenish the earth and subdue it he says and have sovereign control or dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so god made man and gave him adam an instruction and in that instruction he said be fruitful it was not an advice it was not a suggestion it was not his opinion for your consideration are we together now the same way he said ye must be born again that means ye must be fruitful be fruitful and then he says multiply the best description of this verse is found in isaiah 32 verse 15 be fruitful and multiply he says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then he says the wilderness see the levels will be counted for a fruitful vine that's a fruitful vine and then the fruitful vine be counted for a forest that's not fruitfulness that's multiplication are we together so he says be fruitful meaning if you are not fruitful something is making you live in disobedience it's not about your benefit you are insulting the command of god be fruitful multiply replenish subdue have dominion and you see it is in the character of satan listen please it's in the character of satan to carefully hear what god has said because his assignment is to prove that the lordship of christ is a mirage and so his the, the his assignment begins only when god speaks satan cannot do anything if god has not spoken because his job is to make the word of god of non-effect so he listens carefully and he's patient isn't it interesting that even to destroy you it is activated at the coming of god's word if god has not said anything about you satan has nothing to do to you because his assignment is to oppose the word of god so i could imagine satan carefully paying attention to the speakings of god and when he told man be fruitful i can imagine satan telling the demons assignment number one barrenness multiply keep people in one place and so he goes around attempting to insult the integrity of god's word to the end that our conviction about god will be questioned and then ultimately we will lose trust and confidence in him be fruitful multiply be fruitful multiply be fruitful the concept of barrenness listen listen barrenness is not the absence of a child barrenness is the absence of results any kind of result any kind of results the inability to produce desired results children finances the level of influence the level of growth any any um, activity that is able to inhibit us from producing to capacity is called barrenness are we together now jesus did not hide his opinion about barrenness when he saw the tree that had leaves and would not produce figs the bible did not say let's give it time as it were in other parables he usually it was in his culture to be patient but not with barrenness are you hearing what i'm saying now it was in the character of jesus to see an unfruitful tree and then say okay give it time maybe they didn't water it well but when he was aware it was barrenness he caused it immediately are we together now we do not serve the lord for results however at a point in our christian experience there must come a time when our lives will begin to relate with the possibilities that are in god 
this relationship that we call results prove two things number one the love and the goodness of god it's important the goodness of god is a dimension of his glory that reveals his benevolence his ability to freely give there is such a dimension of god's glory called his goodness are we together and so barrenness is a very dangerous force do you know while i was studying uh preparing for this miracle service i discovered generally speaking but specifically to barrenness now fruitfulness fruit of the womb do you know it is said that six out of every ten families six out of every ten families have one kind of fruitfulness or fertility problem where was barrenness when our grandparents gave birth to 15 children without CS? I'll tell you where it were. Those our parents were idol worshippers. So there was nothing to attack. So one woman gave birth to 15 children without twins. One, 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 one. On that hot fire with knives. And yet after 15 children she would stand strong but the moment you declare that you are signing to another government satan now came up with a system to stop the continuity of god's agenda listen let me tell you there is a bridge between us and the next prophetic speakings of god most of our parents and grandparents did not give their lives to christ or did not walk in the fullness of the system of the kingdom we became the fruit of that carelessness somewhere along our journey to adulthood God intercepted prophetically and started leading us to understand the systems of God and already that that is a transgenerational threat to the gate of hell because the meaning of that is that a generation will come that does not know wickedness a generation will come that does not know father fighting mother a generation will come that does not know um, all these kinds of things there will be a generation that will corporately lift up the name of the Lord. And Satan said, no way. So the first assignment is to stop your faith. If it happens that you have passed that level, then he now finds a system to keep you alone with your conviction till you die so that it will end the process. Are we together now? Hmm. Let me tell you something. Reproduction is a powerful thing. It's not about giving birth to children. It's about reproducing your values. It's about giving God more space. I hope you know that without a material body, God cannot find expression. And not everybody can host him. A body has thou prepared for me. So our generation is preparing bodies. And this is a threat to the gate of darkness. barrenness is not about refusing to make you take in no it's not about impotency no barrenness is an agenda it's an agenda to stop any platform that can create continuity of people raised after the image of their fathers and mothers who are themselves after the image of god our dispensation was the first to reveal the possibility of reproduction through birth every other dispensation before our church age had creation not reproduction are we together now and so god will create the celestial beings were created now when god created adam i hope you know that satan was once in heaven he had never seen the possibility of reproduction through birth that a man and a woman can come through a system of reproduction and give birth to another human being it was not part of his understanding so when adam and eve fell he knew that there was no possibility again and then to his surprise he saw eve pregnant now this was strange he didn't even know the name of what it was what causing this woman's stomach to protrude after nine months here comes another person and satan knew that this is a strategy that means 
whatever is in a man can be reproduced through many children that means a woman can actually hold a child i told you women are gates in the spirit women are gates in the spirit that's why demons oppress them it's not gender the only gates that can authorize another life to be made flesh so barrenness is an agenda marriage is just the focal point of that warfare but that's not the only place are we together there is nothing that gives satan joy as watching the frustration that comes in the life of a believer as a result of repeated frustration and stagnation the human spirit was designed to be motivated on the strength of progress everything that is alive grows everything that is alive moves lack of growth and progress is a symbol of death are we together now so it appears in different forms a lady will keep herself and serve God a man will keep himself and serve God sweating in the house of God and get married and all of a sudden hilarious medical reports begin to evolve themselves fibroid they say the man is impotent are we together now and then it continues like that um, my assignment tonight is to get you very angry with anything that looks like barrenness in your life you've heard the testimonies it should go it can go if you insist hallelujah mm. barrenness it's a terrible thing it's a terrible thing to live a barren life look around our society and you see barrenness speaking everywhere a man begins to build a house and for 10 years it has not gotten to linter level until he dies he leaves it there it's called barrenness it's called barrenness let me tell you something when you buy your first car at age 50 it's not a testimony are we together now when certain things do you know certain things in life have a time period when their coming will be relevant to your living there are it's not just that they should arrive they must arrive on time so that they can be used for the purpose for which they came hmm. are we together now barrenness there's unfruitfulness everywhere there are people's lives it's even consoling if one aspect of your life is working and then another aspect is not working at least he will give you the impetus to face it but there are people seated here nothing is working completely when i say nothing your health is not working your life is not working your brain is not working your body is not working your emotions are not working nothing is working it's called barrenness it's an agenda if you see it as an issue you will not address it enough when you see it as an agenda a plot you will destroy it with every sense of seriousness don't just look at it as an issue that is just embarrassing me that's too small a motivation to fight it look at it as an agenda that seeks to be transgenerational and then you attack it whether you have a child or not this is not for people who do not have children you know we have this ugly religious mindset of saying at least i have uh, my first um sets of children twins i have another twins what am i looking for that's even a sign that your brain is barren you may not be barren in terms of physical barrenness but it's all working well the bible says and abraham was old and well stricken in age he said and the lord had blessed him in all things second kings chapter 5 says naaman there was a man called naaman he said he was a captain of the syrian army and the bible says he was a man who was valiant for wars but he was leprous when i was preparing for this meeting i took a clean sheet of paper to write out everything that was working in my life and everything that was not working and i presented it to god i said lord we are flogging it out this night don't sit down fooling yourself just focusing on the things that are working thank god for them but do not say because five things are working let me let the other two you must force those two to work 
Say amen. amen. Let me give you a few scriptures. Specifically for those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I don't know how you will motivate yourself tonight, but believe God, believe God, believe God. Deuteronomy 7 verse 14. Please help us media. Let's be very fast. There's a lot to do tonight. Deuteronomy 7 verse 14. Deuteronomy 7 verse 14. I want you to read it please if you're a child of God. Read it loud. One to read. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. Uh -huh. There shall not be male or female barren among you or your what? The only people obeying this scripture are animals. The only sets of people obeying this scripture are animals. They don't pray. They don't fast. They give birth anyhow, anywhere, under any condition. Any condition. It says, thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female. Men can be barren. Women can be barren. Pastors can be barren. Parents can be barren. Families can be barren. Territories and nations can be barren. Hallelujah. Are we together now? And then it says there shall not be male or female barren among you. That means if you are experiencing any form of barrenness, it cannot be God. I'm giving you reason to attack this thing as from the devil. Do not create any theology under any circumstance to justify barrenness of any sort. Don't be embarrassed by it, but summon the courage tonight to call it what it is and face it squarely. Psalm 127, verse 3 to 5. Psalm 127, verse 3 to 5. Psalm 127, please. Verse 3 to 5, very quickly. It says, Lo, read it, please. Children are what? Um, this scripture is a very powerful scripture. It never said children come from men. The seed that gives them bodies come from men. But children are a heritage from the Lord. Read on please. We are not done media. It says as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man so are the children that are giving birth to early so are the children that are giving birth to early you are it's not just the children of your youth there is something about youthfulness and giving birth even biologically without any sense of insult but even biologically we understand that when a woman has stayed so long and is about to give to, to give birth there there are certain kinds of sicknesses and imperfections and deformities that may likely happen like down syndrome and so on and so forth the bible talks about the children of your youth verse 5 happy is the man whose quiver is what i don't know about you but I don't believe in having only one child because two is at least the number of witness and there are certain things that only happen when two or three ah come on now i'm preaching to somebody go ahead respect your ideology but the more you know god the more you become a believer hallelujah happy he didn't say sad children can make men happy brothers and sisters let me tell you I have met wealthy people who the only thing they pray for is a child. Are we together? They will pay any amount. They will go any length. They just need a child. Not prosperity, not a job. Happy is the man that his quiver is full of them. He says they shall not be. 
Society has an ugly way of stigmatizing people. In every area of barrenness, but especially on fruitfulness. Especially in Nigeria. The average time they give you is two weeks. Once you are married, people are... Or it's ladies that first start. They look at the signs. They look at your face. The men don't know. They don't care. To, they will catch up later after four or five months. I mean, but the women, they're already looking. And then after two months, someone will confront you and say jokes. Ah, when is Junior coming? Now, you think it's a joke. After a few months, they won't laugh about it when they are saying it again. We live in a society, especially Africa. After nine months, if you cannot give birth to a child, your persecution starts immediately. Are we together? And then I'm still surprised that with the age of knowledge and intelligence, we still have all kinds of people, you know, driven by culture and all of these cultural ideologies. Oh, I married a witch. That's the reason why I'm not giving birth and all of that and so on and so forth. If the man, your seed is required for the woman and she's a witch, what are you? For it not working. You see that? We victimize women shamefully. And then we think, oh, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is a stupid woman that I got married to. No, no. Listen, listen. Barrenness is an entirely spiritual thing. Forget about the medical report you came with. I am telling you, the origin of barrenness. The, see, barrenness, fibroid, and all kinds of demonic operations, they are related. It's the same system that brought them. Listen to me. Fibroid is an attempt to mimic a child between you and a spirit. Fibroid is not just an object growing. It's growing at a pace that is not consistent with your normal body growth. Meaning another life is sponsoring it. Are we together now? Yeah. So you have a woman get pregnant. She's rejoicing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The moment the doctor announces... She goes to bed in the night and all kinds of strangers, depending on what episode, a man, a woman, all kinds of people come and the next thing, the woman has lost the pregnancy. And while people are insulting her because we live in a society that, that who, whose conscience has been so numbed, we can insult people without finding what is going on. The cure for barrenness is not counseling. Counseling does not drive out demons. Fibroid is real. You can feel it. It can destroy you. Impotency is real. Whether you believe it or not. And do you know, this affects Christians more because we are guided by certain principles until marriage. So there's no room to ordinarily find out what is wrong with you. You just marry and get the shock immediately. That, that quest for obedience prepared the healthy environment for Satan to manifest it. But the devil is a liar tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I once prayed for a woman who said she would be sitting down. God is my witness. And physically, pastor, physically, physically feel a man come to her as though sleeping with her. I'm, I don't mean in a, in a vision. Wide awake any time of the day that stranger just comes. Claiming legal rights and holds over God's people and stopping them for years. Let me tell you another thing with barrenness. It does not live by itself. Any kind of barrenness. One day, my miracle will come. It's not a wise approach. Not with barrenness. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. You've got to get up and say, today, today is the day. One day, is, it, it looks like a consolation, but you never receive results from it. One day, I know I will build that house. One day, I know, Abba, is it not turn by turn? There are all kinds of wise sayings. Life is turn by turn. Are you joking? There are some people who died. Their turn never came. You force your turn. Brothers and sisters, this thing is by force. You force your turn. 
you force your turn time and chance happens to all he didn't say they receive it it just says in god's equation he made provision for everyone to have it as i'm speaking to you i'm very angry in my spirit because some things must change this night in the name of jesus christ i know families who have spent millions literally looking for the fruit of the womb i know families who have been depressed at all kinds of things do you know the one that pains me more when a pastor becomes barren that 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 one that one gets to me is is personal you know why because satan is like putting a billboard on the man's life i am at work and there's nothing you can do about it it's very painful it's very painful i've had the privilege of meeting men of god in different places and their one prayer they come to me in the secret and they cry they say man of god i lay my hands on others they come back with twins they come back with this but i've not been able to have a child and we have members whose mouths don't keep quiet we run our mouths around with different episodes of what we think might be the explanation supporting the barrenness rather than taking it personal and go to god and say no lord something must be done do you know what abraham would have gone through 25 years barrenness hallelujah how about other aspects of barrenness the inability for you to produce results in ministry to the point that you are now doubting whether you are called or not are we together now you used to shout before and say i know god called me but after two years with seven members alone you're already keeping quiet now and say the most important thing is i'm obeying you you see let me tell you, lack of result makes you to hide certain convictions you will be forced to hide them that's how satan stops people he doesn't shut your mouth he stops the area of results but we are going to pray listen tonight i don't want you to feel embarrassed about confronting anything that is barrenness in your life are we together now we're a family of faith and we're going to cry before the god of heaven and say lord open strange doors open strange doors open a door that no man can shut hallelujah there are pastors who are supposed to be at a level they, they are doing everything scripturally that should bring the kind of results they want and yet nothing is working absolutely nothing is working no ministry people come receive miracles and go all kinds of things happen one day my result will come is a deception from hell i'm telling you this again you must insist and say i make that one day today psalm 113 verse 9 psalm 113 verse 9 please help us media psalm 113 verse 9 this is what will be somebody's story after this miracle service it says he make it who makes it ah and we're standing here only because you may he make it so god can make it happen it is within his power to make it happen he make it the barren woman to keep house and then he says to be a joyful mother of what the only reason why you should stop giving birth is mutual understanding between you and your wife not a situation that has pegged you and saying that child will not come no a joyful mother a joyful mother of children a joyful mother of children one last scripture exodus 23 verse 26 exodus 23 i like you to read it one to read there shall nothing cast her young nor be barren in thy land it didn't say there shall no one he said nothing nothing do you know 
Your money can be barren. Many other things in your life can be barren. It says, There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Brothers and sisters, it's time to get angry. To know that every trace of barrenness, regardless of how it appears, is of the devil and must be dealt with as such. Three keys to fruitfulness, very quickly. When our backs were against the wall And it looked to see if it was over You made a way And we're standing here Only because you made You move mountains You cause walls to fall With your power you perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible And we're standing here Only because you made Three keys very quickly to fruitfulness The first key is to treat fruitfulness as a command have an understanding that fruitfulness is not an opinion. It's not an opinion that is left to your personal desire. Fruitfulness is a command. Fruitfulness is a command. Genesis 1.28 Fruitfulness is a command. Anything that is not fruitful in your life is causing your life to be disobedient towards the word of God. Anything anything the moment you see your life not producing result in any aspect there is a spirit forcing your life to reflect obedience disobedience fruitfulness is a command barrenness is an attempt to make you violate that command number two the second key to fruitfulness is that obedience to kingdom principles will deliver the desired result it's not enough to have the understanding that is a command there are principles that compel your partnership with the word of god in order to get that result principles scattered through scripture are several principles that are responsible for certain manifestations of god's grace in our lives are we together Praise God. Are we together now? Sorry about that. Obedience to kingdom principles will deliver desired result. Listen, please. Wishing and crying helps you, but it does not help your situation. Are we together now? God is moved by your tears, but he only responds to his word. He is moved by your tears. We do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. It's called compassion. But for results to happen in your life, you must activate the word. The woman with the issue of blood had been crying, but nothing happened. But she said, if I may but touch the helm of his garment. Obedience to kingdom principles. For instance, when it comes to finances, your tithe, your giving, kingdom investments and the opportunity and the platform to provide value remain the irrefutable keys to wealth and abundance there is no theology around it are we together there is no magic and mysticism around it obedience to kingdom principles now most of us want miracles of fruitfulness listen we want miracles of fruitfulness in our lives. But we are unwilling to pay that price of alignment. There are people who are not consistent tithers. They have an idea that tithing is, um, is a system. Men of God just corner the money and they enjoy it. I mean, that, that, that is such a deception. See how cheap you gave yourself to Satan. How much is what you are bringing? For you to believe that is the reason why a man will compromise on his faith. There are all kinds of theological ideas 
sponsored by the gate of hell that keep people poor. Are we together? How about trusting and believing God to make you whole? Do you know there are people who do not believe? Listen, listen. There are people who do not believe in some of these testimonies you hear in the church. Maybe not in Koinonia, but in the body of Christ. When they hear something like fibro disappear, they just look and say, oh, we agree. They don't lie. Let's clap. You see, we, we mock ourselves because we have so fraternized with unbelief. It has become our template. You never refuse to agree that the person was not born with the growth. It came from nowhere. You believe that one. That it went back to where it came from. You don't believe it. Are we together? Oh, someone's genotype changed. Or a woman gave birth to triplets and twins. Some of you, where is the woman? Let her come. Let's see. I must see with my own eyes. You see, let me tell you something. Do not over-intellectualize spiritual things. They are far beyond the realm of the intellect. If you learn to believe God with childlike faith and say, Lord, I know this is true. When will you believe? Are we together? Honestly, there are some of us we have never really believed anything truly. You have only been aware that it happened. But that conviction, no. I'm a believer. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Especially for those of us, listen, especially for those of us who, who claim to be a light, we have allowed education to take the place of God. And then we want God to give you a science on how these things will happen. Are we together now? God, you need to show me how this will be this and produce this. And then God says, me? Give you that explanation? The Bible says, for us, you do not know the way of the wind, nor how bones are formed in her that has a child. How a seed, a little seed from a man becomes the bones of a child that you cannot break with your hand. Explain that mystery. Say so you do not know the way of God. Tonight I want you to believe. Don't sit down asking. Will this genotype really change? Will I really be delivered? Will God bless me just like that? I remember one time. People were joining the queue. I think some months ago. Just to see me after service. And then um, a particular. I think it was a lady or so. Just met me and she was ranting all her problems. What she felt, you know, she felt, look, I need special time. And I just touched her. I said, it's done. She said, no, no, you don't understand. I'm trying to explain. I said, it's done. What are all these long stories you are? It's done. I touched you. I said, it's done. Now, I know what her problem will be. Even if his pain is not on her head. You just touch me and say, it's done. That's how it works. It works at the speed of faith. The woman with the issue of blood did not touch the hands of Jesus. She touched the hem. Frankly, any part she touched would have produced the same result. It was never about what she touched. Are we together now? We have seen all kinds of testimonies just with one word. Just with one supernatural word. My neighbor then, I think she's somewhere here. She shared her testimony here. You've heard the testimony. Of the miracle that God did. Supernatural miracle. All kinds of devilish things. And they said all kinds of things were, you know, growing and all of that in her stomach. It came out. It passed out like a woman gives birth to a child. That's how it came. Oh, come on. See, this God, eh? Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Would you come and do a miracle? A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. One of the strategies of Satan in this season is to plant nonsense in the bodies of ladies. Very healthy lady, eating well. The moment she's about to marry, they will tell you something is wrong. Ovarian cyst, 
fibroid somewhere or they'll say the womb has disappeared are we together fashions of stories sincerely communicated by well-meaning doctors but that's a manipulation somewhere are we together now to an extent some of you ladies now are looking at me you are even afraid you are not even sure you see all kinds of people even if you are prophesying about finances they are laying hands on their womb and say lord my own is not money just make sure that i give birth when has a good thing become a thing of fear are we together now and then the, the one that surprises me is the concept of impotency where they say a man no 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 that concept is a mirage plus plus you better disbelieve it gentlemen listen gentlemen listen to me don't ever don't ever i say it again allow anything to convince you that there is such a possibility like that it is it is it is an advanced form of witchcraft in the life of any man are we together now don't think i'm just talking i know what i'm saying what you tolerate you will never change what you give flimsy excuses for you it will never leave you hallelujah praise the lord tonight i want you to challenge yourself and tell yourself i must have testimonies fruitfulness is a command number two obedience to the principles of the kingdom is required to deliver your desired result the last point i'll give us and then we'll pray is that in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony now you better believe this in many cases obadiah 117 in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony that's not because you are a witch that's not because you are a wizard away with that imbalanced communication to think that the moment devils are casted out of lives and people it means that they are possessed no not at all not at all not at all and away with that wrong understanding a believer cannot be possessed but a believer can be greatly influenced your faculties can come under siege siege that will look like you are possessed of devils make sure that the construction of your belief is based on the word of god so that you don't shortchange yourself of certain possibilities look at me there are many of us here seated looking at me there are spirits sitting comfortably upon our lives and destinies every time things are not going well in your life and you do the best you can to keep certain kingdom principles then i want you to know that you are not alone in that system there is a stranger attempting to add to the equation something you did not add if you keep quiet that's how your life will go warfare deliverance contending with the powers that be satan will not let you go just because god said to it takes force a popular scripture that has become our anthem in this place psalm 66 verse 3 how terrible art thou in your ways he said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves not through the greatness of your discussion it takes power don't see listen you are you are coming from a family with transgenerational witchcraft i know you are in christ but listen satan does not care all that grammar is none of his business it, you have to prove you are in christ by taking advantage of the power that came through christ to put him where he belongs he says satan he said god had put all things under his feet speaking of man he said but as it is now we do not yet see all things under his feet faith is not foolishness you must summon the courage to confront things that have refused to go oh in the name of jesus christ i'm born again up this and that and that but you are seeing all of you you are seeing patterns that reflect a healthy living of wicked spirits jesus did not hide the fact that we are influenced perpetually 
by all kinds of spirits in our world who attempt to compromise on our testimony. It was God's servant Bishop Oyedeko that shared how that when the ministry started, great ministry now, touching people across Africa and the world. But then when they started, people would not just come pastor. For whatever reason, a very anointed man, signs and wonders, epochal revelations, but people would not come. And one time they were praying, engaging in warfare, intense warfare in the place of prayer. And the Holy Spirit asked him to come out. And he came out. And then after he had moved a distance, the Holy Spirit told him, turn and face you know look at the building and all of that and then he saw a thick layer covering it and this was what the lord told him he said this is the stronghold that makes people to misrepresent your ministry everything you do they see it in a bad light and he commanded it to go and it left and all of a sudden there was there was explosion kenneth e hagin teaching on his encounter with jesus his book about his encounter with Jesus. He gave a very dramatic scenario that happened between him and Jesus. He said at a point when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to him. Jesus was talking to him and was giving him some instructions. All of a sudden a devil like an imp, a short devil, just appeared in between them. And was jumping up and down, you know, distracting Kenneth Hagin. Kenneth Hagin said he thought Jesus Christ being there would stop that spirit from coming. Yet the spirit was there jumping up and down. And Jesus kept talking. He seemed unaffected by whatever the demon was doing. But Kenneth Hagin was affected. And Jesus kept speaking. Kenneth Hagin said it worried him for a long time. Until he got angry in his spirit. And the Holy Spirit gave him a strategy. And he commanded that spirit. He said in the name of Jesus I rebuke you. And he felt and, and left. And this was what Jesus told him according to Kenneth Hagin. He said if you did not do anything about it. I would not have done anything. All that it is to be done I have done. How can I is nonsense. The day you get up. you The best way to predict your future is to create it create it create it don't sit down waiting for it to come create it listen i don't believe in circumstances i create any circumstance i want i create it the bible tells us that the word is framed 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 your world your environment your reality is framed by the word of god obadiah 117 it says and upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then it says the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions standing between the sons of jacob and their possessions are gates forces fraternities covenants of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of god's people and then he says that there shall be deliverance. Deliverance is not falling down necessarily. It's not just manifesting and coughing out things. No. The context of deliverance is a platform that creates a separation on a legal basis between you and any force that keeps you bound. Are we together? There are things that have held our lives, brothers and sisters. And it must let us go. You must believe this. Don't sit down. I'm, I'm telling you this thing so you don't sit down and waste your time. I came with my spirit angry. We are going to deal with the issue of the fruit of the womb extensively. But then I want you to know. The reason why the door has not opened is because there is a spirit sitting somewhere. And I tell you if you let those spirits they will wreck your life. Wreck your life. There are pastors whose churches have refused to grow. And they think they preach well. They are anointed people. They are great people. But they are all kinds of forces. Brothers and sisters, wickedness is real. The Bible tells you the whole world lies in wickedness. Don't say I didn't do anything to anybody. The condition to be vulnerable to oppression is that you are born. Once you arrive here, that's all. You, you are in the middle of a story that predates your existence. So as you come, you just join in the whole thing. Don't you think you have to come up with a fresh trouble? No. It is there before you arrived. 
Have you not seen children hated for something their parents did before they got married? And they look at you and while they are insulting the man, they say, who is this? You say, my name is David. Who's, you are his child. You are the idiot like him. You just inherited an insult. Just because you were associated with a man while they were making that trouble, you were in the loins of eternity. And now you came and participated. Tonight, I want you to believe God. I want you to believe God. Brothers and sisters, there's enough grace and unction for you to receive the miracle. I believe in breakthrough. Breakthrough is a mystery that gives men speed. Where limits are taken. Kabbalataya. Limits are taken. Limits are taken. Limits are taken. Limits are taken. I don't know what has held you down. You must break this limit. Don't sit carelessly looking. Some of you have some results. We all have different results. But is that the best? God can fast track your life. That between now and December 31st, he will put a new song in your mouth. A song of praise in your heart. He said many will see and fear and put their trust in him. Hallelujah. And time will fail me to speak of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought the mouth of, of lions shut the mouth of lions, wrought righteousness. Let's look at one scripture. Romans 4, 18. I just want to touch a little on this issue of believing and faith. We just finished a series on faith. Please, I encourage everyone as God grants you grace, make sure you get those series and listen to them. But I just want to challenge our faith a little, even as we prepare to pray. There's such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a strong anointing. I'm hearing footsteps. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me he's the one walking to people's lives. I'm hearing footsteps. No, 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 no. I, I, believe me. Just, just, just believe me. Just walk with me. I'm hearing footsteps right now. God will not let me continue. He's walking to someone's life right now. Right now. I'm hearing footsteps in the spirit. I'm still hearing footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me this is his footsteps. He's walking to someone's life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know where those people are. But right now their stories must change. Must change. God is not even waiting for me to finish preaching. Something is happening here. A change of story. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something is happening right now. How forcible are right words. Footsteps. I still hear these footsteps. I still hear these footsteps in my ears. And God is saying He's giving people testimonies. It's like the Spirit of God walking. Walking. He will meet you where you are. He will meet you where you are. Sit down. Sit down. Let's finish up. Romans 4 verse 18. Just sit down. The waters has been stirred. I just want to give you an understanding on faith. You have a role to play. Listen please. You have a role. Don't worry about what is happening. You have a role to play. Please hear me. You have a role to play. You have a role to play. You're not going to sit down and just expect to be healed. You have a role to be to play. Lift your hands, gentlemen. You raising your hand. I see an angel pouring oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Something looking like oil. That's what I see. I don't even know you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, receive that anointing right now. My spirit is fired up. 
I feel this thing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this anointing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. It's the anointing that comes to the office. I feel it on me right now. A lady with a breast lump, a lady with a breast lump has just been healed right now. Check yourself. Check yourself. A lady with a breast lump, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast. The, of your breast. the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The Bible says, Who against hope? Against hope have taught us. Against hope means in spite of the obstacles believed. Who against hope? I told you the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle. It is not unusual to see obstacles. There is a system to take care of them. That system is based on your conviction. Backed up by understanding that compels you to take action. The name of that action is faith. Not the name of the believing. Believing is not faith. Believing is restful confidence based on an understanding. The end product of believing is conviction. When you act it, the name given to that action is faith. Listen, you can hear the most anointed word if you do not mix it with faith. Be convicted that this is the word of God and then be ready to take steps. So if you are here and you cannot stand, be ready to stand. Don't just sit down saying, well, let's see what will happen. You will go back home on that wheelchair. You are deaf, you are blind, whatever it is genotype whatever make sure you are angry in your spirit a door has refused to open make sure that you receive there are many faith actions praise and celebrating God is an action that's how you water whatever you sow listen Jesus said and I've corrected it here I've taught us he said if you have faith as a monster seed I've told you it's not the size if you have faith and your faith works like a mustard seed, a mustard seed is sown. That means if you can plant your faith and create an environment for it to grow in the similitude of a mustard seed, then you can say to this mountain, it was not talking about the size of faith. If you have faith and you have understood how to make it operate like a mustard seed, then you will do great things. Are we together? Tonight, I want you to refuse that any force of darkness holding your destiny will go back with you. I want you to refuse. Listen, listen. There is grace for increase. I feel it in this place. I, I just want you to believe me. You know, sometimes it's difficult communicating things to people because some, we live in an environment of such unbelief. I know the grace for increase. Listen, increase is an unction. Honor is a mantle. It can come upon a man. You can carry it bodily. Don't sit down and just waste your time. You may not be sick in your body, but there is an encounter that produces a possibility upon your life. Listen, I told you creation has never been disobedient. Something on you or not on you is what compels the response of creation. An anointing is like a mantle. It works like a charm. When it is upon your life, that anointing speaks is a language it will make creation respond to you in a certain way that's what you call favor that's what you call breakthrough don't sit down asking can i get a job that's a very foolish question very foolish question don't sit down asking can god make a way in the wilderness my god my god my god ah Don't sit down asking, can I get the child? No. What you should be asking is, can I get the twins or triplets? Not, can I get the child? 
are we together you are here tonight because you are trusting God to do something in your life face the business that brought you and be serious don't sit down laughing at others criticizing others others will be taking radical steps of faith don't sit down there being cynical laughing at them no connect and open up your spirit man of God open up for your ministry there can be more there can be more there can be more the pressure of ministry will kill you if you continue going the way you are going there is a system that builds you out even favor let me tell you this favor that we think is very free there are laws there is an unction that brings favor it is a manifestation of favor that is effortless but there is a system an exact system a science to its coming into your life hallelujah don't sit here and allow the over 40,000 or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering can God change me are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over listen there are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom I'm rounding up now there are three platforms for reception I've taught this but let me just touch it quickly the first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of God when you meet God the presence of God alone listen will leave certain deposits it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife there is a transfer so when you meet God there is a deposit listen the second platform for reception is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom there are dimensions of the power of God that has been vested in laws you don't have to pray the moment the laws are accurately um, operated the power is released immediately you don't have to be a Christian but the third dimension listen the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with God listen men enter covenants with God that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings listen to me you will never touch prosperity ignoring Abraham Abraham entered a covenant with God that became the platform to see that dimension of God work in your life there are men today who have covenants with God answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery to honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing God when when Saul came where Samuel was just that atmosphere implicated him he prophesied all kinds of things happened to him you need to understand that territories human beings represent systems in the kingdom and not there are certain audacious statements that when God makes he's not just waiting for your personal faith he creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant are we together now God entered a covenant with Abraham is that true and then Abraham slept with Hagar and then had Ishmael is that true they were at the wilderness crying two of them were crying God only had the cry of Ishmael why because Ishmael was Abraham as far as the covenant was concerned so God could not listen to Hagar but he had the voice of the Lord crying and because of that he came let me tell you this ministry you see like cobwebs is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants mysteries and covenants agreements with God that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen I want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight you are not alone there is grace for you rise up on your feet you are mighty in this place You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place.
faithful God Hallelujah Hallelujah You are mighty You are mighty in this place You are mighty in this place Say na 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 Before we begin to minister I want you to lift your voice and tell God everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say God knows open your mouth Lord step into my finances Lord step into my business Lord step into my family faithful God hallelujah Se que para da bato sobra de bala da Lord take away the barrier that is stopping my doors from opening Take away the barrier oh God stopping my influence enlarge my coast ta pa ta ya ba Se que tele catara ba 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 Answers prayers. Katatola to setaya. Lord, I must take my testimony tonight. I'm tired of this fibroid. It dies this night. This night. It must go this night. Not tomorrow. Lord, favor must land upon my life. I'm tired of struggling. Favor must come upon my life. Shikepa go soto bakata. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are. You reign, you reign, Elohim, you reign. Na 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 na
your hands. Elohim Gure. Elohim Gure. Ah. Adonai Gure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. Don't bring them out. I am seeing the Lord speaking to me. And he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies. And it's coming on 21 people. 21 people. I stretch my hands right now. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that impartation. 21 people. Divine strategies. The wisdom of God. Receive it. That idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me. 21 people. An impartation. Supernatural strategies. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen, the Lord is speaking to me and this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people, listen, two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit. And I'm seeing a map. Get ready please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria. And I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now, by the Spirit of God, Kaduna State, Kaduna State. I see an anointing, only Kaduna State. Shabarapakata, Embreketeta, Kaduna State. A miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I don't know why God does this. Brothers and sisters, don't ask me. Don't ask me. This is an operation. It's called the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Now I see Benway State. Benway State. I see an anointing on Benway State. Now, an anointing on Benway State. Benway State. Shakatoda Parata. Reketekete, help them please. Benway State. You can't stand it. You don't have to know whether you don't know your state. Benway State. Miracles. Miracles. Go into Benway State. I hear or to call in the spirit. A miracle happening right there. Right there. All those connected to that bloodline. There is a miracle for you right now. Don't trivialize what is happening here, brothers and sisters. These are territorial breakthroughs. Territorial breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for Stephanie. 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 I'm hearing a name, Stephanie. Please, let's save time. Who is Stephanie? 
you are like a red dress or something like that. Stephanie, who is that? Stephanie. There is a Stephanie I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone and in the vision the Lord is showing me it's like a red dress, but I'll pray for you. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Now, it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name, Johanna. Please save our time. Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna. I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna. 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 Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna. 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 There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying I should tell you he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to pray. I tell you, I feel fire in this place. It's time to command deliverance. It's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives. Forces of darkness. The Lord is bringing deliverance to your family. Your family. The Lord is bringing deliverance. I'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family. And the Lord is bringing deliverance right now. Right now to the family. Right now to the family. The Lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family. A major deliverance to the family. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. As I begin to pray for you. All those devils that has tied the lives of people it doesn't mean you are possessed it's not an insult you may not even know you may be minding yourself just like you're standing now i'm going to command those devils they must go they are not only going to live your life they must leave your family are we together listen some of you brought many prayer lists just one spirit living will produce all that testimony believe me believe me lift your hands my heart, my soul, I give to you. I bow to you, my Savior and King. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for your anointing to deliver, to set free. There are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they must go. I want you to bring them out now. They must go. They must go now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. You'll be surprised to see what happens. Kai, 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 Kai. I see spirits of delay. 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 Spirits that have held men down. All kinds of spirits. Father, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, Lord, as your people shout, may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough, 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 flowing sound, my flowing sound. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Now I command those demons, go now, go now, go now. Go now. Lift your voice and begin to command every spirit. Every devil. Help them please. Go now. I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people. You must go now. Inside and outside. I command you. Inside and outside. Bring them out. I command you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice. I command you. You must go now, now, by the anointing of the Spirit. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their breakthrough. Lift your hands.
you are still praying. Atasile kaprosu do pariata kotusha. Prende kaprato soko tu baliyakata. I'm seeing gates and I'm seeing chains on them, and the Lord is saying to unlock those chains, unlock those chains. That anointing will come on certain people right now. Father, I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, any place in your life that has been chained and tied, right now in Jesus' name, I command those gates be open, be open, be open, be open, be open by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Chains, chains, be broken. Ushers, please. Chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Be broken. Release their destinies outside. The Holy Ghost is touching people outside. I see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every enchantment, every enchantment, every witchcraft against the lives of people, against destinies, you must go now. Mr. Man, lift your hands. This man, lift your hands. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night. Right now, receive that anointing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them out. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity. We have to be very fast. Because I want to focus on barren people right now. Charity. 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 I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough for Charity. The second overflow. There are two people God is touching there. The second overflow. I see the anointing coming on two people. The overflow, the roadside. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Something is going to happen here now. Ushers, I want you to be sensitive. I'm going to pray for certain people. You will have to help them. The grace for speed, listen, is going to come on some people. Physically, they will find themselves trying to run, help them. So that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves. It's a prophetic act by the spirit. So that they don't enjoy anybody. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Guys, be sensitive, please. In the name, Help them, please. It's already happening. That's the instruction God is giving me. An anointing will come on you physically. You will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough. Right now, Lord, I release that anointing. Give men speed. Give men speed. Give men speed. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Give men speed. Run like Elijah. Help them. Run like Elijah. Help her. Help her. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Grace for speed. I release it. I release it. From my spirit. I release it. Grace for speed. No more stagnation. No more retrogression. Run with the grace of Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahaz. Hallelujah. Charity. Charity. Are you married? The Lord wants to give you two miracles. Huh? Number one, God wants to settle you maritally. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Second, what are you doing? I just finished school. I'm a graduate now. Huh? I'm a graduate now. You are a graduate? Yes, sir. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing Abuja. Huh? Yes, sir. Abuja? Yes. What is Abuja? I have a fiancé. Uh, you have somebody there. Yes. Sir. That's the person to marry you. Okay, Did you sir. tell me? No, sir. 
Did you tell me? No. That's what I'm telling you. I'm looking at you. I said God will settle you Amen. maritally. Amen. Huh? And then God will give you a job. Amen. Supernatural job. Amen. Because it's your desire. Amen. God will give you a job. Amen. The Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. I'm opening a new chapter over your life. The past. Uh -uh, your future has to change. It, the, what the past is, is not a good testimony. And the Lord is saying I'm giving you a new chapter. A new chapter. Come my dear, in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a job. May he connect you maritally. Huh? Is your name Charity? Is your name Charity? In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Delay ends now. Delay ends now. I pray for your auntie. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'll minister to one more case before... I pray, I want to pray specifically for barren people. I'm going to pray that before we do a lot of other things, before we call the sick out. Thank God there are many hands today. And so we're able to do a very quick walk. Ladies, when I count three, just shout I receive. Don't worry, follow me and do my stupid thing. Are you ready now? One, one. Two, three. There is an opening. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Many people are entering it. I see it. It's a door breakthrough. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom. Shalom. Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. You're mighty in this place. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see being released to people in the realm of the spirit, doors, strange doors. I told you there is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more, 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 more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. There is more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. The Lord is leading me to pray for brothers. Lift your hands. You'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen, there is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online, you can follow. I want to pray. I see this thing falling on many men. Jesus, it is your word. You have released this word. I put authority upon this prophecy and I declare, let it enter like an arrow into the life of men. Right now, take it. Receive that grace right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Help them. Grace, grace. Strange establishment. Doors opening. Doors opening. In their own accord. Help them. Doors opening. I put you in a platform spiritually. Where you experience speed and establishment. In the name of Jesus. Help them please so they don't enjoy themselves. My God. Be established. Be established. Be established. 
be established i lose your hands i untie your hands every brother here i untie your hands be established by the spirit be established by the spirit go and buy that land by the spirit go and build that house by the spirit i open strange doors don't say you are too young is an anointing it's not your effort receive it in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now leave those who are standing here very quickly if you are here specifically please listen you are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. It's a loud shout. It will be loud enough for everyone to hear. By the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise. That's the shout there. That's the shout by the Spirit. There is an anointing to pray for the barren. Come, please. All those, whether man, woman, if you are married. Look, don't come out here if you are not married. Why are they here? Why are they all here? You must be married except if you are standing in for someone don't stand here doubting there is an anointing i see a river some of you as you are standing right now the power of god will come on you just before i even start praying yeah. look at this will you open up the gate open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Lift your voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? For you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them let them know you are praying for them are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that we'll pray for the sick generally we have a lot to do don't lose touch of this don't come for koinonia and then sit down this is not a museum let your heart be connected because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit i'm going to be very fast i'm seeing listen i'm seeing something like a bird is jumping out of a lady now one person here i don't know who that person is but the lord is asking that until that happens like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child no matter what the spirit is no matter what the issue is fibroid infertility low sperm count whatever i don't care what the name is it must live right now 
in the name of Jesus please shift very quickly as I lay my hands on you it is done receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace now go and carry your miracle child madam carry your miracle baby carry it now carry it now my God I tell you I see babies literally in the realm of the spirit carry it now carry it now carry it right now carry it right now miracle 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 there is an unusual grace here there is an unusual grace unusual grace unusual grace unusual grace as I lay my hands on you it is done it is done it is done it is done heal now open up the gates in the name of Jesus Grace, 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 help them please, let's save time, grace, receive your miracle baby, my God, my God, testimonies, wombs opening, fertility be restored, receive it, take it, take it, Take it, take it, take it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it, take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus. Bring it please. in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of her. Return with your child. Miracles. 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 Miracles in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Let it be open in the name of Jesus. Grace, 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 grace. Sheba da do ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Eko to shoba da da ba. The Lord is healing. Irregular menstruation, irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now so that you can carry your baby. Receive your child out, out of her. Now, return with your miracle child. Now. Jesus in the name of Jesus it ends now 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost let her go now shake it in the rush keep praying in the spirit don't just watch miracles 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 in the name of Jesus Jesus supernatural miracles the Lord is anointing you receive that anointing now the mighty name of Jesus Christ grace 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 for you grace for you grace for you grace for you grace 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 
open open now open now i see a womb that is closed open now shaka para toka toka tele baba baba for you i want a woman to come up yes. i'm seeing a woman who is pregnant you have been having nightmares somebody comes to you in the night you have you even wake up shouting you've not been able to sleep there is a pregnant woman here with that situation god wants to set you free please where are you if you care for you can come and god will set you free right now you are pregnant but i'm seeing you having very bad dreams like a nightmare Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself, for someone. Ah, hallelujah. Kai, I'm seeing something that is not nice. I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like a, a living a real object please who is that i have to pray for you like i said if you have the courage there's nothing to be ashamed what who is this one why is she here coughing out no 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 don't bring her in jesus name you're okay come in jesus name it is done the lord sets you free by the power of the holy spirit i need to pray for that lady honestly this is a serious thing in fact it's not just one i'm seeing two of you come and stand here something it looks like a worm but it's bigger than it you see it it comes out and goes back on its own who is that you're the one god bless you for your courage can you celebrate her don't be afraid see look let me tell you this is this is like a spiritual hospital so this is not a place immediately i saw it even me i honestly i my body was doing me one kind but i thought you have to say it. this is bad it's like a doctor madam kai and you love god oh. don't be afraid huh do you know this thing where are you from because I'm looking at you, you are supposed to be a very great woman. I look at you and I see somebody. Ah, this is strange. I'm seeing, let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing a white woman. I'm seeing a white woman, but I'm seeing you. And the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm seeing. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dear, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement. I'm praying for you now. May that devil live your life forever in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of Jesus. I use her as a point of contact. This is a nice woman. She didn't bargain for this and she loves God. Are you seeing that now? Who knows? Probably were trained by white men. Or she speaks very intelligently. But everything grounded. Hold my hand, man. 
to a point that that do you know what it means another object did you plant an object in your body comes out through you at will goes back at will for those of you who think witchcraft is not real you are joking you are watching one right now not pile oh i'm not talking of pile hold my hands man i'm angry in my spirit in the name of the lord god that i serve I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you and go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically in the name of Jesus Christ this old face is not your own you are not that old I change it in the name of Jesus Christ help her give Jesus praise father thank you supernatural miracle supernatural miracle supernatural miracle supernatural miracle in the name of Jesus Christ hold my hands it's over over in the name of Jesus over in the name of Jesus it's over in the name of Jesus there's one mama here the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people there's one mama here I'm seeing in a vision the power of God will land on you you, you may not even be expecting it. Not everybody. This, this is an, like an elderly woman. But I'm seeing an anointing. Right now, wherever you are. Father, something will land. It's like fire. It will land on one mama now. Supernatural grace. You will start laying hands on the sick. Oh, that's the woman there. Help her. Help her, please. Bring her here. Supernatural anointing supernatural anointing for the for barrenness look at this look at this this is an elderly woman for god's sake father take her to that level i stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace and i bring you to that realm release miracles to women in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please help her in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ supernatural supernatural daddy why is he here why is our daddy here who brought him out you came on your own sir for barrenness you where is your wife sir is here but i can't locate her now. madam come you will see a man like hold my hand sir you will see a man like this and think he has a child you have a child you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb yes. how old are you sir don't be embarrassed you are 57 you will still have your child where is your wife wife is she here is the wife here she's not here you are not sure she's around here you are sure she's around yes madam if you're around please i want to pray for you and your husband otherwise um, we can just pray and continue please so that we don't waste time in the name of jesus christ supernatural grace supernatural grace you can imagine the kind of oppression supernatural grace supernatural grace supernatural grace your wife is not here she's not coming out or is she under the anointing huh whose name maybe she doesn't want to come out i hope she's not she's here what's her name sir esther esther Atuluku. please you have had your name madam that's your husband calling you can you rush please so that we save time is she here is she outside otherwise i'll just pray for him please so that we'll save time there's a lot to do daddy how long have you been married sir 32 years 32 years if you ever tell me wickedness is not real 
if you ever tell me wickedness is not real our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children Ejimi, am I correct look at this Abraham waited 25 years our daddy has waited 32 years sir you came here by faith you are our father here and you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here look at me sir I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you in the name of Jesus I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not I don't care whether she can give birth or not I decree to you in the name of Jesus Christ hold my hand sir you will not have a child you will have children listen sir I'm not saying God told me to tell you I am telling you there is something called a prophet's reward in the name that is above all names I speak over your life that force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity I cancel it right now sir you are struggling financially I have to pray for you God wants to open a door for you I, I hope you're not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you please hold my hands Jesus please change our daddy story let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen now please we're going to be very fast you are here for yourself you are not married you are standing for something. in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural miracle now we are going to be very fast you can see it's past nine but there are so many things we need to do we are going to do two things at the same time all those who are here trusting God for any miracle any miracle aside from barrenness except if you have another thing I don't care what it is please you are going to come there are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly it's a miracle service now look at this I want you to organize yourself uh, those outside oh, hold on please hold on overflow two. just walk right to the front you don't have to come here overflow to the whole of those occupying the roadside just walk right to the front of your your stage there overflow one here just walk right to the front here all those who are here you can just come out come out organize yourself you are sick or you are standing in for people jesus listen if you are standing here for impartation go back please 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 don't make a fool of yourself we are going to pray for i know some of you just want me to touch you there's nothing wrong with you don't play games with god go back to your seat you will receive impartation some of you there's nothing wrong you just want in case if there's something i should still pray go back please we don't have that time are we together now i'm not joking please there is no time huh so those outside just obey instructions please some of you think i have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses someone who just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again that devil is a liar in the name of Jesus and I also understand they've been mysterious accidents you are minding your business car will jam you bike will jam you we are going to take care of all those things today it's called a miracle service now this is what will happen please and please anybody who lays hands on you just go back to your seat believing in faith we don't have time to take testimonies i know there are so many miracles if we do that we're going to spend time here there are other things we need to do are we together now so i will pray for you you can see there are so many people uh let's do it this way pastor pete is with me here so um pastor pete ah no edgy you know what edgy me pastor femi you can go outside you can just handle that that one there pastor alpha pastor alpha kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor Ejimi, and you and who you and pastor femi yes we're not just don't think just because you're a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit 
I don't have to call you. We are not playing games. This is not about ministry. There is grace. Are we together? Pastor Alpha, please. Outside, Kenny, Mike. Promise, where's promise? Join a Jimmy. Promise, Femi, and, and Pastor Jimmy. Outside, please. Just guide them protocol. The, so that, don't waylay anybody. Please behave yourself. Don't disturb anybody. I'm here with Pastor Pete Benga. We are going to pray. In the name that is above all names, shout Amen. amen. Father, we are standing in unity from three different points. You have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people. Lord, every man of God represented here, as we lay hands on your people, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we minister to you, any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, guys, we have to be very fast so that we'll save time, Pastor Sir. Thank you so much. Worship, help us, please. We'll be very fast. Now, all those sitting and around, those online, just connect by faith. There's nobody touching you physically, but the Holy Ghost is there. He's representing us and he will touch you. While that is happening concurrently, please, your miracle, um, uh, your prayer request, pass it, ushers, if you can connect yourself. I know that there are not many of you protocol. You can help them, please. Pass your prayer request. If someone sent a text to you now, you can copy it quickly, please. Pass your prayer request. We're laying hands on you. If they give you a prophetic word, receive it. Please, guys, don't waste time on one person. Let's just do it fast. Jesus will give you praise. I have no other God but you. Now. I have no other God but you. Right now. And you have done what no man has done. Please, as they pray for you, just quietly go back to your seat. Rejoice in. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Make sure you're submitting your prayer requests. Make sure you're submitting your prayer requests. And then when they pray for you, you don't have to go back to another line. Once they pray for you, I'd like you to believe and say God is doing miracles. pass your prayer requests I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason 
the Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before before we come to prayer. I know there are people, how far have we gone, those outside? There's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jakes. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one. And then, um, ushers, please, let's have the request so that we can finish it because I, I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. season for you. Aya. Oh, le preliosi prombeliete salioste. Some of my worship people here, the Lord will place upon you an unction for worship. A strong unction. David, down the Lord is going to be placing upon you an anointing. An anointing is to come upon you. Pare su pretinda ilosi predia. Rekito fiesta kila handa ha Bora kete shubelenda pragadose Rekete gabaka kokosho ke palagana Renda pa freia so palenda ha Resa profilesa kalionde Barasoko palagada I feel like the fire of God moving upon the ground It will come upon the feet of many now Upon the feet of many The fire of God will come upon your feet the fire of God will burn your feet. There's a fire a quickening. My God. Palio friesa kiata la ronte. Barus ikateli. Bo grakishti valande kalevose.
Tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels will ascend and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight, 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 tonight by the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are standing here in the midst of Yeah, I sent the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. And as we worship you, we build your throne. And as we worship you, Jesus, and take, take your, your place. We'll hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside. We are going to pray on the request now. Pastor Pete is going to lead us. Pastor Sajex, please help me since you're the only one here. We are praying for your request. I want you to believe God. Stretch your hands over this place. And I want you to begin to pray in the spirit, everybody. Stretch your hands. You are praying in the spirit. We may not be able to minister directly to everyone. But I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father in your divine wisdom. When you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will. Lord you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein oh God. Your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations. Those that are here. Those that are across the world. From the internet. They have written their own requests, understanding the mystery of the scribes. That whatever is written has a spiritual significance. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men. The angels in Revelation chapter 8, that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of God. Right now, by the power of God, let those angels move swiftly in the name of Jesus. An angel appeared unto Daniel and said, I have come because of your word. 
Father, let angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar, bringing this request before the throne room of God. And the Bible says, He that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back, O God, with results and answers, and the grace and the mercies of God shall be released. Right now, we release grace. And Lord, we release mercy. In the name of Jesus. Every prayer written in this ground, upon this mountain, it is answered in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Aside from those that are still praying for peace, everybody rise up. Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive a prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year. So don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a carrier of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where it has worked for others and has refused to work for you, I declare the grace that makes things work the power of performance. Receive it right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Everything dead in your life. I don't care what and I don't care how long. In the name of the one who raised from the dead. I command that thing to come back to life. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. Tonight, like Pastor Jake prayed, revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Supernatural impartation. I pray for you. Everyone here who wants to start a business, start a company, start something, any value adding platform. I prophesy upon you the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it every student here hear me I program your spirit to rise to a new dimension in the name of Jesus on common understanding on common illumination any final year student here who it looks as if you are not going from the look of things in the name of Jesus we change it here right now believe God we change it now we change it now we change it from your faculty 
we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of Jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever I separate you and tragedy forever hallelujah this spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick hear my voice there is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom therefore i stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we punish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and i speak prophetically across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of jesus i command the gates closed over you i command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast the gate closes over you everything that has left your hand that left your life that should not have left i don't care where it went to i call it back may it gather its kind and come to you i say it again everything that has left your life has left your hand may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of Jesus I force you to rise in the name of Jesus I force you to grow if there is anybody in this place from January till now you have not stood here to testify I prophesy to you now and the next 30 days may it be your turn to stand here believe me believe me now and the next 30 days may you stand here to testify anyone here called jobless or you are doing a job that is not a job any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible sizable benefit in the name of jesus i don't know where the jobs are we create vacancies and put you there we create vacancies and put you there any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed i declare their prayers answer tonight i declare their prayers answer tonight i pray for you listen there is a mantle of honor upon this house and if you belong to this family it should be evident in your life and in case it's not yet working like a programming in a computer like an antivirus i place that mantle of honor upon you may it shield you from shame may it cover ta -ta 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 -ta. may it shield you from shame hallelujah every spiritual life that has died here no more passion for the things of god no more passion for prayer no more passion for the word of god i plant in you a fresh passion tonight fresh passion tonight we're rounding up every family represented here 
that has not had a reason to smile this year it's been tears and tears from home every time they call you from home one episode of bad luck may this be the first good news you will hear good news of breakthrough good news of increase good news of speed in the name of Jesus Christ whoever rises up to find you may the God that I serve even in the secret may he fight them we're rounding up I pray for you barrenness or its kind looming around your life looming around your environment whether in your body whether in your finances whether in the works of your hands in your ministry in your business I pray for you the water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree I introduce that water into your life therefore I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus be fruitful be fruitful multiply multiply replenish subdue and may you command absolute dominion absolute dominion help them please every strange nightmare strangers roaming around your sleep not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy disturbing you oppressing you sleeping with you manipulating your dreams confusing you you don't know whether it's god speaking or it's the devil in the name of jesus i banish those strangers from your life forever i banish those strangers from your life forever in the name of jesus christ and i pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west to the north to the south whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level i prophesy and i call them into your destiny i prophesy and i call them into your destiny there's someone here god is giving you a word go and register a company and just keep it you may not know what to do with it but just keep it keep it and give god space to use it and surprise you that's a prophetic word for somebody here just register it and keep it you there is no business to source for don't worry register it and keep it and give god space to surprise you may that happen to you in the name of jesus christ every circle of continual suffering where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble i declare where the devil put a comma i change it to a full stop never again never again never again in the name of jesus christ you're here you need jesus you're saying man of god i've watched the things that the holy spirit has done i have seen the transformation keep standing please no sitting no moving around let's stand up please keep standing you're here and you're saying apostle i want you to pray for me i love jesus christ but for some reason my life has gone haywire. I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him. And there are others who are saying, man of God, this is the first time. I've always mocked at the things of God. I've never really been serious. But now, I'm making up my mind for Jesus. Overflow one, overflow two, all following us online. Wherever you are, I know that our time is gone, but let's honor Jesus 
We cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity. Wherever you are, don't wait for anybody to come. Be the first. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. I want to lead you to Jesus. Jesus is already talking to some people. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. There are people outside. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Don't stroll around. Run like there's fire on the mountain. One. I'll count one to five and that will be it. Two. Lord, I give you my life. Three, please, we're out of time. Run, run to Jesus. I live for you. Every Come to him, he will give you a fresh start. A new beginning. Will you have your way? hallelujah if you are still coming please rush and join them it should not take a long time if you are still indecisive then just remain at your seat by now you should know where you stand when the titanic sank there were only two lists those who were saved those who were lost if you are not sure you are saved come out and join them because it means that you are not you are not saved you should be very sure if you are a man of god is like i think i'm saved come and join them and get a very uh, a, a high level of certainty to know that you are in Christ in the name of Jesus I appreciate everyone daddy thank you for coming and all those who have come to make this decision please understand you are not reciting a poem don't be emotional about it this is a simple decision but it's the greatest miracle you are opening up your heart to the life of God the Bible says and this life is in his son it says he that hath the son hath eternal life say this after me with all your heart and sincerely say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart tonight I come to you and I declare that you receive my life and manage it for me I receive your life into my spirit I declare that from today Jesus is my Lord my savior my friend and my king i declare that satan has no power over my life i'm a child of god i'm born again in the name of jesus christ father i stretch my hands towards these great precious people bless them let this decision be genuine and let this be the beginning of great days in their lives i anoint you with grace I command that you begin to see the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I plant in you like a virus, a hunger for the things of God. And I declare that it will override every other passion in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this great decision that you have made. Now hold on please. I want you to do two things for me. Number one, the Bible says, They that be planted in the house of the Lord, it says they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Visiting the house of God is not the key to consistency. You must settle down and receive the word. Our prayer meetings are Tuesdays, except for this week, we're making a little adjustment. I'm going to bring an announcement on that shortly. But you can be part of it for at least one month so that you can build your spiritual life. And then I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details and then they'll warmly follow you up on our behalf and the lord will bless you in jesus name please this way all of you god bless you god bless you in jesus name koinonia are you appreciating them